there's this thing about Ghanaians. You are super hospitable. Oh mm. my God. When it comes to acceptance mm. and making you feel comfortable, they will. And why? I was so lucky. That was where I gave birth to my two lovely children. Oh, wow. I gave birth to the both of them there. Oh, wow. Yes, I oh, gave birth wow. to them there. Wow. And all my experiences were amazing. Wow. I would see the people in Bama who come to my house, take care of me, take care of my children, feed me, wash for me, fetch water for me. The, the community alone... No, 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 no. They've been good to me. Yeah, we know what I'm Okay, okay. Yeah, so at least I picked... A more, a more. A language. A more. <laughs> we always consider, like, mm. living in the North to be, like, it is something that is affordable. Mm. Mm. As compared to going to other places like Kumasi, Accra, mm. or other towns. Mm. Basically, the North. When it comes to development, the North is developing faster than any other places. Mm. Are you getting what I'm saying? And... Despite that, things are still affordable here yeah. as compared to other places. Uh, when you talk about rent, rent, uh, feeding, living, transportation. living standard, mm. standard of living. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's, okay, so in 2017, I decided to leave Accra where I was working and then staying. I decided to relocate back to Tamale because previously I was in Tamale. I was living in Tamale and then I decided to go to Accra for greener pastures. But when, when I went to Accra, I worked for a while. I realized that, you know, things weren't um, catching up, you know, I, cost of living and other things. So I felt that, you know, I'd, I'd have to come back home and then experience how, you know, life is going to be. Because I already knew that um, life in Tamale was a little bit, you know, not expensive um, as compared to, Accra and all of that. And since 2017, I've been in Tamale and uh, going back and forth from Tamale to Accra, doing one or two things and coming back. But I have been stable in Tamale from that period, I mean, onwards. And I think life has been better for me here. But there are a lot of people with, you know, different understandings and different perceptions about, you know, living in Tamale and all of that. So that's why we want to have today's conversation. And... Fortunately for us, we have people who are not even Ghanaians, um, but they find Tamale, that is in the northern part of Ghana, uh, as home. And today I'm privileged to have a conversation with them on North Chat for, us, for, for them to tell us their experience living in the northern part of Ghana. For me, it has been, you know, I mean, North is home. So for me, it's, it's a different experience. I'm sure maybe their experience will also inform us as to you know, what the North really is or, you know, li living in the North, what it really means to live in the North. My name is Prince Hamdan and this is North Chat. Today I have, um, you know, you all know Kenny, yeah? Kenny, <laughs> Kenny, <laughs> Kenny, is the, Kenny is the landlord of the studio, <laughs> or landlady rather. And um, he's here with um, a brother too. What's yeah. your name, please? Uh, good morning. My mm. name is Michael. Michael, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, first of all, um, how how has how has Tamale been treating you guys as people from let's say Nigeria coming into Ghana? Before you st you, you stayed in Tamale, have you stayed in any part of Ghana? Yes, please, yes, please. Where where where, where yeah, did I, you? I was at Kumasi. Kumasi. Yeah, before coming down to the north. To the north. Yeah. Okay. All right. Can you? Where, where, where okay. You? So for me, because of school, mm. I have been in the north since 2010. Okay. Wow. Yes. Wow. That's like a long time ago. Wow. Wow. Yes. So you've not stayed anywhere apart from Nope. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Um how, how what, what informed your decision to come to Tamale? Why did you move to Tamale? Yeah. If I can remember vividly mm. back then, I think that was 2011 mm -hmm. when I was at Kumasi. So I wanted to study medicine. Okay. But unfortunately, I think there was a clash of admission then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think there's these two thousand uh, year three, year four mm -hmm, of the SS. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. the admission was tight back then. Mm -hmm, so I think mm -hmm. a friend of mine suggested like, oh, we should come to the north mm -hmm. and at least we can still start from somewhere here. Oh, wow. You get it. Yeah. So yeah. coming to the north, did you come to the north for education because you didn't, you weren't able to get in Kumasi. Yes. Was yes. it because of the education yes, you yes, came? Yes, yes, That's why. That's why I came to oh, the North. Oh, then. okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you came to University for Development Studies. Yes. Yes. To please. pursue. Yeah. What's the name? Uh, to pursue a course, lighting, computer science. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. But it was just like, you know, a friend telling you that yeah. let's just go to oh, the, the friend is actually from the north. Okay. okay. Yeah, he is okay. coming from the oh, north. Okay. But we met at Kumasi. Mm. Yeah. I did this remedial classes. classes. There. Yeah. yeah. So he's the one that suggested we should come to the north. Mm. Like he knows the what admission we'll get sir. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Kenny, w- 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 how about you? Um, y- y- you you've not stayed in any part of Ghana straight to the north. Why is it that you didn't go to Kumasi, Accra, or Takradi, and then you came like you just came to the north? Oh, okay. So mm. his story is very similar to mine. My mom literally woke us up one morning and said, "Tao and Kendi are going to Ghana, yeah. and you are going to school." Okay. And the school she chose was, of course, University for Development Studies. Oh, really? So yes. So it was because of school mm, we came, came to Ghana. Wow. Yes. And the reason why I've not stayed anywhere except the north is because there is really no difference between Kumasi and Accra with Lagos. It's pretty much the same thing. Mm. Why should I keep staying in the same environment I'm trying mm. to run away from? Mm. So when we were in the north, in Wa to be specific, mm-hmm, yes. we were there for four years. I did five years because I did a diploma and a degree. And after it was more of like... I'm I'm comfortable here mm. and I saw that I could do more. Mm. Funny enough, I could do really, really much more. But then, well, we'll still talk about that aspect, but it was okay. Mm. Yes. Mm. So, But there are a lot of people who, you know, have this, you know, perception about the North, that the North is violent, the North is what, what. So... I'm shocked that when your friend told you to come to the north, mm. you didn't ask questions. No, I do ask questions. You, you ask Even then, questions. you mm. know, I was having a whole lot of friends Okay, back in the south. And there was even a friend of mine that was asking me, why did I choose the north? Mm. Because they are violent people. Mm. They fight mm. all the time, mm. burning, killings. Mm. So I was even scared. Yeah. Mm. That year, I was like, ah, this decision I'm taking, am I sure this is the best decision for me? So it was like, oh no, that the north there is because I've not been there. That they are violent people, they are is always fighting, they are killing, they are burning houses. Mm, mm. So I was scared. Mm. I came with a scared mentality, like, wow. oh, this place I'm going to is always like that. But did you ask him whether he himself had he has him? never been here? Wow. <laughs> wow. Yes, he has never been here. That, <laughs> that's see, these are some of the stereotypes we talk about. Somebody he the person won't know the place. But they will preach to you as though they are even coming from the place or they stay in the place. Yeah. And I think that was that was that was uh so what 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 then pushed you aside, you know, the the fear and the risk and all of those? What 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 was that pushing factor for you to still come? You know after hearing all of these things and Yeah, one thing is me, I believe in exploring. Mm. So even if you said they are fighting, they are killing, but at least people are still living there. Living there. And those people living there are no better than myself. Mm. So when I get there, mm. we will all be there. Wow. <laughs> so that is it. Wow. Wow. Kenny, how, how come your mom, like of all places, got to, how did she even get to know? You see the funny thing? Eh? My mom University for Development. My mom stuff. went online okay. and started looking for schools. Mm. And UDS popped up as one of the schools. The funny thing was she saw Tamale Campus. Mm. online mm. she didn't see what campus. campus it was yeah. after when we got the admission we got here we were in the car mm. we got to the campus and i realized that the picture they put online was wasn't the, the same picture campus, of the, yeah. the the campus we were coming to mm. and i called her i was like mommy the picture is different <laughs> and this place is different like it's mm. bush mm. like everywhere you see there is bush and she was like ah, what do you want me to do because like she I've left, I've left the border. What do you want me to do? For, like, go and assimilate just, yourself. Yeah. Mm. Just leave. This perception thing you were talking mm. about mm. is actually a very, very big issue. Mm. You know where I work, the studio mm. I work in, I'm, yeah. I engage with people on a daily basis. Yes. And we had some visitors yesterday. Mm. And the first thing they told me was, I am so happy I didn't listen to my people. Wow. I was like, what, what, what does she mean? They told her, white people, white people told her, that Tamale is dangerous. <laughs> that the North is not safe. Mm. So they would not allow her to, to come. come. Yeah. And that's probably because of things they've also heard. heard. It's funny because it's not even... Okay, so the funny thing is, even Ghanaians, like Ghanaians who I live here, mm. still went ahead to even buttress the fact that don't go there. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like... How, how is it that some of us are here for ten more than 10 years? We've here. been here. I've never seen a gunshot. I'm sorry. I've never seen anybody fighting before. It got to a point I was complaining that it's not the same place they said yeah. that was violent. Why haven't I seen any fighting? Wow. Except for that, you know, the Boku, occasional Boku mm-hmm. squabble or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it has been relatively peaceful. Mm. 
So mm. I don't even understand how that stereotype is still being Started. spoken of till now. Mm. As in now that Tamale is being recognized as an art center and a place for culture and development and a place where every form of development you're looking for is being centered. Nobody's even looking at Accra anymore. Everybody's focus is on Tamale. Mm, mm. So how is it that people are still talking about Tamale is not mm, safe? Mm. It's it's strange. Wow. It's very, very strange. Wow. So now let, let's let's get into life like in Tamale. How 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 <laughs> how how many years now? Since you, you I've been, been in Tamale since July you, 2021. You have actually experienced the north to an extent because oh, yeah. you've lived in Wa, Wa in yes. the Upper West, and you are, you, you've lived in Tamale in the northern region. Yeah. Can you tell us, like, how how has life been for you in all of these places? Because hmm. they are all like they are all north. Yeah. Basically, hmm. they are all intertwined. Well, hmm. life has been funny enough. It's been very interesting. Hmm. There's this thing about Ghanaians. You are super hospitable. Oh mm. my God. When it comes to acceptance mm. and making you feel comfortable, they will, but they can be so judgmental. <laughs> oh my God. It's mm. the smirking and mm. the looks. Mm-hmm. Hey, mm. Kai, these people are petty. <laughs> but you know, funny enough, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I thank God all the time for the kind of person I am. Because of the type of spirit I carry, mm. I'm the type that if you don't receive me in my good faith, you would get my bad side. If you receive me in my good sense, you will get my good side. And wow, I was so lucky. That was where I gave birth to my two lovely children. Oh, wow. I gave birth to the both of them there. Oh, oh wow. Yes, I oh, gave wow. birth to them there. Wow. And all my experiences were amazing. Wow. I would see the people in Bama who come to my house, take care of me, take care of my children, feed me, wash for me, fetch water for me. The, the community alone, no, 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 no. They've been good to me. Very good to me. Everywhere I lived, wherever it is that I was staying, with school, even after school, during national service, mm. during NAPCO, all this time I spent it in WA. Wow. And they've been so good. Wow. So, so good to me. Wow. Maybe I moved to Tamale. That was when I even realized that, wow, the, the demograph just kind of like opened and it was even when I came here, I actually met more Nigerian people. Yeah. Mm. Because I didn't realize that it was that much of a hub for business. Yeah. That almost everybody was in Tamale. Yeah. So, so far, my experience in WA was very good. But then I moved to Tamale and I'm experiencing a totally whole different scenario. Okay. Where um, apparently it's very difficult for a woman to get a room to rent. Mm. Mm. Be, whatever size, whatever color, I mean... Me, uh, you can see I'm very eccentric mm. with the way I dye my hair and the anklets I wear and mm. the way I speak. I am very loud. But then I thought of the fact that the kind of person I am should not determine the house I live in. Mm. Mm. I don't know if I'm if that makes any sense. I've been looking for a place to rent for more than two years. <laughs> I've wow. done. Wow. Every house I've gone to, they don't want to take a single lady mm. because apparently I would be attracting the male species to my house. In my head, <laughs> I'm like, I didn't ask them mm, to come. come here. I'm, mm. I'm confused. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. every house you go to, it is one complaint or the other. Yeah. And then it's even bad when you go there and you meet a lot of women and then they're like, they don't want to add another woman because you're afraid she, I will come and take over all their husbands or <laughs> their boyfriends or what, what. I'm like, God have mm. mercy. What is mm. this? Mm. So for the house searching and looking for a place to actually rent, it has been difficult. Mm. And there has been a lot of judging okay. and assumptions because of that. But apart from that, somehow I'm not sleeping on the road. Mm-hmm. Abby. Mm. I have a roof over my head. For that one, I'm grateful for that. And um, the only, the one thing I also observed is the um, business sense. The North does not have any urgency whatsoever. <laughs> okay. they, they start things at mm. whatever time they feel like mm. it. Mm. If it is time for them to go do something, they lock up the shop, they are gone. They are not concerned about whether you are mm. looking for mm. business or not. Mm. They start work at nine, mm. close as early as 12. They're done for the day. Mm. <laughs> so I think that's one of the things I also observed um, about the North. But so far, my experience in Tamale, apart from the house side, uh, yeah, it's okay. Mm. It's been okay. Uh, uh, l- let me hear from you. Like, how how is Tamale? B- b- I think mm. you, Tamale been, is the o- only yeah, northern place you've been I've, to. I've been in Tamale mm. for, I think, 12 years now. Longer than she has. Longer. Than Longer. She, she, okay. She, she so how's, how's the... Oh, everything been? is cool. Here mm. in Tamale, mm. as compared to other places, the pressure, mm. there's no pressure. Mm. You go to anywhere you are going to, anytime you feel like you feel going like, to. Yeah. Mm. And that no, was one of the things that brought me to yeah, Tamale. Yes. There's no I traffic. Can just take no my traffic. bike and go... Like, anytime, yeah. any day, you get it. And not until recent times, mm. things are cheaper in Tamale than... 
other places. I've uh, been in Accra. I was about to come to cost of living. <laughs> okay. Mm. So, life in Tamale is cool. Once you are doing your own thing, mm. no distraction. I get what I'm saying. People don't enter your matter. You don't enter people's matter. Anyway, probably because of the kind of person I am, mm. I'm a cool type. I don't really mm-hmm. pop get into nose into people's. people's yeah. you, you get my points. Mm. And with that, I think I'm okay. Mm. So, living here is... Have you, have you faced some of the challenges she faced as in looking for... No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, uh, there, there's a difference. <laughs> of your the gender... Uh, yeah, the there. gender thing doesn't yeah. usually mm. apply to mm. men. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe it, apl- it applies in certain ways. In certain they don't usually ways. you know the funny thing mm-hmm. there was one house i went to he said i should go and bring no, my no, boyfriend not not in not in uh what's the name in looking for rent that's the uh, place to rent that's mm-hmm. what i mean oh, okay it could it could men could also face some kind sort of, of challenge in different areas no, no, but no. Not, oh, okay but not necessarily no, I think for, oh, for me i think i'm cool no no no, 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 no. no. usually i mean like considering how the society mm. is it's, it's usually easier for mm. men mm. as compared to women let's be frank Mm. Yes, apart from the rent thing, I mean, we've seen a lot of them who immediately hear my Nigerian accent just as I came here to do prostitution. It has mm. happened a lot of times. Mm. And those are some of the st- stereotypes too that, you yes, know, I a mean, lot of them. Against, oh, you know, oh, yeah, mm. a lot mm. of them. Mm. And because of the way they tend to um, judge based on how you look or how you dress, they wouldn't even bother to try and find out the kind of person you are. Mm. They just assume. Mm. And sometimes some of us don't even really care because I mean I have I have a plan. I know what I'm about. I know what I'm doing. You want to try and distract me. I have my most of people who see me, I'm always having earpiece in my ear. I'm walking on the road with my music. Mm. I'm minding my business. But for I, I realize that for mostly even women who come from other places, even Wala women who mm. come to Tamale to stay, they've they've got I mean, when they are complaining, it's be, it's not good. Mm. Let's be frank. Because we see that immediately you are not a Dagomba. Or you're not from anywhere around the Tamale region. There is that thing where they have this thing. Their women are somehow. Um, their women are too demanding. Uh, their women like asking for money. There's a lot of. Uh, it, I feel like it's it's only if you're a woman and you're around us before you can know stuff like this. Mm. But we talk about it all the time, and it's a very concerning issue because when it comes to job opportunities, I mean, we've had this episode before where we've spoken mm. about job opportunities when it comes to male and females. But then we've seen that most of the time. Apparently, 90% of the women in Tamale are dependent on somebody else to take care of them. Mm. This is a very pressing issue because you see guys complaining that if they have to date a woman, you have to be financially responsible for her. And I have seen it happen that the woman assumes automatically that you are supposed to take care of no, her. But I think that is that is that is a general trend in 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 Af- even in Africa, not not only in Tamale. Oh, well, but I know there are some places that it's not that way. No, that, that, trust me, is 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 a is a trend in Africa. So it's like a general thing. Yes. Oh, okay. B- because well. like <laughs> Africa, you see, let's let's look at it in a in a contextual, you know, understanding. Because okay. Africa is different from the Western world. Of course. In Africa, we all we all know that it is the responsibility of the man to provide for a woman, and that is how we grew up. I don't know if you get the point I'm making. I get it. I understand the point that women should be industrious. Women should... At f- least be independent. At f- least. Well, it depends on what you mean by ind- independent. Take care of yourself. I li- I like, make your own money. Th- yeah. th- that's different from being independent. Uh, well, that's the definition of independence for us. Well, it, it depends. It depends. Because indep- independence, in its natural sense, means that you don't rely on anybody for anything. Not only financial, of not course, only like money. Gener- yes. So that's what I'm yeah. saying. So we have to use the word independence advisedly. Oh, okay. You, you get it. Mm-hmm. For, for me, I'm for women who um, can take care of themselves, even if you have a husband, right? Mm-hmm. But then the point is that in Africa, we are, we, are, we are trained that the man is the provider for the house. So it makes it, makes it more like on the men. Right, oh. though it is good for women to actually also be Support. able to, I mean, I mean, defend for themselves. Yeah, I don't know if you get the point I'm trying yes, to make. So I for me, it's... I think it's it is not. Uh, it's more like a cultural thing, oh, okay. rather than uh, like what we uh, more like. A, how do you call it? A, 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 a gender, you know, something. Thing. Oh, you, you okay. It. So it's uh-huh. more it's more cultural yes. than than gender. Yes, yes. So okay. that, that's what I I think. Okay. Mm. Okay. 
Okay. But well, l- let's 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 get back to the conversation. Mm. So, like, coming to Tamale from Nigeria, have you seen certain similarities, certain things that are culturally similar to where you come from in Nigeria? Mm, yes. Okay. Yeah. For example. Yeah. Looking at the the food aspects okay. of mm. my own culture. Okay. Wait, 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 which part uh, of Nigeria? Yeah, I'm a Yoruba man. Yoruba. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm a Yoruba man. Wow. Mm. So you know. We have something, and called, I've actually heard a lot about the Yorubas. Okay, oh, yes. especially they with were, the, the culture. Yes, the they, dance, I mean, they were here you know, before. That, that's wow. that's yeah. what I'm trying mm. to explain here. Okay, mm. Mm. so we have a food called Inyo okay. in my place. Okay, and the Ashanti people call it Fufu. Okay, okay, but here in the north they call it Panded Yam. Sakuro. Sakuru. Sakuru, yes. Yeah. Mm. But I, I think when they are talking about pounded yam, it's that's how it is. It, that's how it is. Okay, because okay. it is the yam it, they pound. Itself, yes. yes. And in my culture too, it is the yam, yam. we pound. But I think in, in the south it is cassava. Kaka. Cassava. Rather. And in southern Nigeria too, mm. it is cassava. Okay. Yes. You get it. And you see that, that that brings me to the point. You know, I do this thing called this is north. Oh yeah. Actually, the, the whole concept is to see like you, you see the north. It's, it's as though like the northern part of almost every country have a, similar, have a certain similar, similarities. Yeah. Know? So I, I want to set out on this journey to find out these similarities. Just as mm. he's saying, yeah. in the north, we eat pounded yam, as we call it sakuro. Mm. And in, in their part of, yes, they also have something. We have you know, and also known as pounded yam. In the yam. northern part, Majority of the people are Muslim, and in the northern part of Nigeria, the majority, majority are Muslim. There is something similar, and I'll really be, you know, happy if I could, you know, explore, d- those, explore places. those places. Yes, northern yes. Mali, northern Nigeria, Cameroon, Togo. and Togo, and mm. all of those places. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm actually working on it. I'm actually so continue, continue with it. So looking at the food, mm-hmm. it is just the same. The same. So when you say I'm eating pande, yeah. Okay. Both in Nigeria and in Ghana is the same, same thing. Yeah. In Tamale. Yeah, in Tamale. Tamale. Yes, mm-hmm. in Tamale is the same thing. Mm-hmm. And we call something alubosa. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The alubosa is called onions. Yeah, we also call it alubosa. Anywhere, onions, okay. alubosa. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. That's and interesting. we have other foods like, okay, there's this thing called tubani or mm-hmm. other thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have a similar food. Like okay. that, okay. yeah. Okay. We have a similar. Wow. I can count on a lot on and on and on like wow. that. So we have a whole lot of similarities wow. when it comes to wow. food. Wow. Yeah, Kenny, how about you? Are you also a Yoruba? Of course, yes. I'm a Yoruba. Oh, okay. I'm a Yoruba woman. Oh, okay. Yes. And when I came, according mm. to the story I heard, I heard um, a lot of Yorubas actually settled in Tamale. Oh, wow. And then when the Ghana Moscow issue came up, came up. Okay. there was a lot of sacking that mm, was done. Mm, mm, but mm. some of them had already mixed and inculcated mm. and intricated themselves into the northern system already. Mm. So although some of them left, mm. some of them are still here. Because when they and give they birth stayed. to children, you know... You so let me bring the issue of the clothing. You see the smoke and the cap, mm-hmm. that cap that you wear, is what we will call the um, the uh, abesi aja. Mm, mm. It's practically our dressing. Same, that is how yeah. we dress. So the smoke is copied in the agbada style. So you see the one that we do, and we we do the hand yeah. like this. Yes, that is called an agbada, and it's very similar to the smoke style as well. Wow. So we share clothing. Mm. We share um, the the culture too is a bit a little yeah. bit similar. Mm. And then I've even seen um, echo. Yes, yes. The food, echo. When I came to echo Ghana, echo is it's wrapped in this um, leaves. Agidi, or Agidi, I, I, no, no, no. Agidi is still Igbo. Agidi is Igbo. Okay. I don't like, know how they call it in in Tamale. Mm. Oh, they keep telling me, I keep forgetting. Mm. It's this particular local food that we have in Nigeria. It's it's made with I corn. forgot corn, okay, yeah, and okay. it's white in color, oh, okay, and it's always okay. wrapped in a leaf. Oh, okay. I loved it so much. It, is it, it is was it like Yoro? I, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. It could mm. be. It had this funny name. I couldn't mm. remember. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then when I came to Tamale, one of my Nigerian friends told me they saw they, there's a call here. I was like, yeah, what yeah, do you yeah, mean yeah, there's yes, a call? Yes. Mm. I went to the market and I saw a call. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. so, I was like, do you food know? Do you guys know how much I love a call? I could eat a call like morning, afternoon, evening. Oh, wow. And not knowing that there's even Nigerian restaurants here to- where you get mm. pure Nigerian, Nigerian food. Stuff, food. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. food and foodstuffs. Wow. So it's, it's more of like... Yeah, just like a step away from home. Mm. 
I, I mean, I even felt closer to home since I came to mm. Tamale mm. because there's a lot of similarities. We yeah. have a Yoruba chief. Yeah. There's a subsection. They have meetings. They have associations. So it's it's more of like there's that. Oh, there there's there are a low, lot of similarities. Even talking yes. about the drums, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. there's this drum. Uh, yes. Oh, gogo. Yes. The yes. gogo. Yes. The talking drum. I hear drum. to uh, talking I, drum. I've been seeing it. Yes. So uh, a whole lot of similarities. Yes. So there, like there was a lot of mixture of cultures when mm. they moved in here. Mm. Mm. And I think the only difference is just the language that mm. was the, the for the language is nothing like Yoruba because mm. we are more similar to the Evers yeah, and yeah. the Gans mm. for the language parts. Mm. But when it comes to the culture, the food, the way of dressing, it's we are That's more similar to the North. Wow. Yeah. So would you say these similarities helped you guys to integrate better in, in the community? Of yes. course, yes, because immediately I moved into Tamale. I met Michael. Mm. He just called me that, oh, your people are here. (laughs) You need to call and link up. Mm. And then before you know it, you're meeting this person, you're meeting this person. I think it was even last week. The lotto man I always passed every day Mm. just heard me speak. I was like, oh my goodness. I was like, he's a babai jabu. Those are the people who do lotto. And I was then, I was like, ah, Emma Binusa. Like I did not like there was no way to have known because mm. I mean it's just maybe once in a while mm. I'm able to speak the language but then just coincidentally when you're making a call he heard me call to speak it and he he just from there conversation and I was like he's just smack that close to my office and I've been I literally passing, passing yeah, like yeah. every blessed yeah. day and you I never know. knew you didn't know yeah. I never knew so yeah. funny enough there is there are a whole lot more Nigerians than you think. Mm, mm. In Tamale, mm. a lot of them. Mm. But then I remember when I first came, one of my very good, um, very good uncles actually gave me a warning about my accents. He said I might have to change it because of the perception they have about Nigerians. If I'm not careful, they would judge me because of it and actually mm. deny me opportunities mm. because of it. I was like, ah, when I d- I was, I I, f- I felt down. Mm. That why should my accent determine how you treat me? But do, do you also think that is is because of how you know the experience with some other Nigerians who have been you know around and all of that? So they tend to just generalize. Know, to generalize. Yes, and he was actually warning mm. me so that I protect myself. Mm. So he's like, okay, so when you are in public or you are anywhere, mm. try and tone down the Nigerian accent so it's not too obvious and people don't um, try and do mm. something to you. I'm like, I didn't think. Okay, so it was an issue. So, like, I know you still, you still, I mean, speak that accent. Ah, how has, ah. how has? I just let me ask this question: How, mm. how, how have people, you know, treated you because of the accent? Have somebody, you know, have people been accepting, especially here? Funny enough, mm-hmm. since I made up my mind that I was going to make sure mm. I spoke in the accents, I got way more accepted because immediately I speak, mm. she's Nigerian. You don't, you don't have to come and are you from Senegal or you're from Cameroon? You sound funny. Mm. Immediately I speak it the way I'm saying it. Mm. That is it. You have mm. to know <laughs> what I am saying. And this is the reaction I mostly get. So when I, when I slur it a little bit, mm. it's very funny. Mm. So all the time I get laughter. Yeah. yeah. All the time. And, you know, people actually love the Nigerian accent. Me, they me, do. me, me in particular. I, I mean, yes. You remember, I, I keep telling you, you, you have to speak it. I have to try and be I think, speaking it more. Yeah. Those, uh, those, um, Issues with people trying to stereotype you for, you know, st- stuff like that are just people who don't, who are just, you know, who don't, who don't, who don't understand. I, I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say, because the mo- for the most part, people who are a bit open, understand, I mean, wouldn't stereotype you because I, of, they don't. I mean, people want to kind of like associate with you and get to know who you are when they finally know who you are. That's how that that's how they can then you know kind of relate with you in the manner in which i mean you associate yourself yeah you know so for me i think it's 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 it's, it's more like a normal thing anywhere you go people definitely have to associate with you based on you know who you are as a person Yes, because it's, it. it was a thing of worry for me. And even with the stereotype against Nigerians, but if you stand out as a different Nigerian kind of person, people people accept you differently. Oh, yes, they totally do. I don't know do. If, you get, if you get what I'm saying. Yes, they totally do. Because mm. I realized a thing where um, somebody wants to know you. Mm-hmm. They want to introduce themselves. Mm. And they're like, oh, hello, my name is so, 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 and so. Mm. And I say, oh, my name is Kenny. Mm. I was like, oh, where are you from? I tend to be like, 
that's where i'm from mm, does it would matter? it yeah does it determine how mm. you treat me mm. as an individual mm. we share the same skin color maybe the thing you can tell me is oh your accent sounds different mm. Are you a Nigerian? Mm. For that one, I don't mind. But that question, where are you from? Mm. There are a lot of people who struggle with identity. Like, forget about the fact that oh, you're a pure Ghanaian. There are Ghanaians who are confused mm. about who they are. So when you ask a person, where mm. are you from? It becomes very... And then I start feeling... Mm, it's, there's a probability immediately he knows I'm a Nigerian. He's going to... Mm. He's going to put me in a certain box. Mm. And refer to me in a certain way. Mm. Because of that. No, but don't you also think that is is for like to be able to identify or know you better? For example, if if I'm I'm to meet you somewhere, I'll definitely want to know where you come from. So that probably uh it, it's just a way of getting to know you better. I don't know if it the questioning is always from that angle, but then for me, if I meet you, I'd like to know like you better, get to know who you are, where you come from. Then probably I might even understand you better. As, as a person. Okay, I, under, I understand mm, mm. where you're coming from. Yes. Th as I said, there is a better way to mm, put it. Sometimes mm. when you just outrightly come and ask somebody, ask. where are you from? Yeah, it's, that's, that's it's, what I'm saying. It's I, very uncomfortable. It depends on how the person asks the question. Yes, mm. yes. So most of the time, you can start with, oh, you have a different accent or you look yeah. a bit different. Yeah. Can I ask, can I ask mm. where you're from? Mm. Mm. Okay, that's, that's a different level, top level communication skill. Thank <laughs> you. And for me, that's why I decided to start this particular show. You, you realize that we are not speaking any Northern language because we want everybody in the North to feel a part. Yes. So we'll be able to interview Gonjas, we'll be in, able to talk to Wala, we'll be able to talk to Frafres. There is that, you know, agency for us to come together as a people. Yeah. Right? Because if I mean Tamale, or if I'm a Dagomba and a Wala man can help me, a Wala man is a brother. So why why should I say that because I'm a Dagomba and this person is a Wala man? I wouldn't want to help the person. So, so I think we need to have a bigger conversation around some of this. And, you know, thanks. I, I think that's just your observation. So yes. thanks for bringing it up. Yeah. Um, we we'll keep talking about some of these things for us to. Um, um, let, let me come to you with acceptance in the in the in, in the north. How how has it been like? Has has the people or have the people accepted you as as one of us? Mm. Yeah, mm. I think mm. when we are talking about acceptance, hundred percent. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Though sometimes, mm -hmm. so you meet some people, you know, because we are having different mentalities. Different people, different. Are you getting it? But mm. generally speaking. Mm everybody is accepted wow. once you are on your lane wow you wow. get it so yeah. that's how it is mm. Mm. for acceptance 100 percent wow, wow. What, 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 have, have have you faced any like peculiar challenges like staying in the north like mm -hmm. any you know challenges just because probably uh, he has yeah. a different accent yes like the accent one mm. have, you, have you faced any challenges mm, no not really mm. you know like i said earlier Mm. you know sometimes when you just speak people can easily like trace Identify where you are coming you, from yes exactly and another thing i wanted to add is mm. you know like you just said earlier the same way it is in this country like people refer to the north like oh the northerners they are violent people mm. that is the same way some people talks about nigerians mm. are you guess what i'm saying and when you ask the question you know because for me fortunately i married a Ghanaian. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I wanted to come yes. there. Okay. You I married a Ghanaian. <laughs> Leave that part. I'll ask a question. Then we'll go Okay. That. So, when people know you are from Nigeria, mm. there will be some comments like, oh, ritualists, like mm. people that do rituals, mm. that Nigerians are bad. Mm. And the question will come like, oh, have you been to Nigeria before? They, and the answer will be no. So, if you've not been to Nigeria, so how come you are judgmental like Nigerians are ritualists? And when you ask them, they tell you because of their movies. So I said, I find it so funny, like, ah. so because you're watching something in a movie means that is the people's life lifestyle. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's very, very funny. Those days, I used to face those challenges, like, oh, when you just say, oh, you are in Nigeria, oh, there are you people, you like doing money rituals. I don't want you to come and use me for money ritual. Hmm. 
And when you are even having friends and you are talking like, okay, oh, I would like you to visit my country one of these days. And like, hey, no, no, no. So that you people can use me for money rituals. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it's always like that. Mm-hmm. No, I'm telling you the yeah. truth. Mm-hmm. So they have tagged you with that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because of what they are seeing in movies. Mm-hmm. And don't forget, these movies of a thing is even a particular tribe movie. It's not a general thing. Yeah. I don't know whether you are getting my point. Yeah. Those movies that is being sold out is basically for the Igbos. Mm-hmm. Are you getting what I'm saying? Mm. And Igbos are just, they are even the, 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 the least people in the country when it comes to population. Yeah, Nigeria population, Igbos have the least population in the country. Mm. But it's a set of people that are the act movie. So you are not telling me you are judging the whole country just because of what you see that some people are displaying to the world like, oh, this is how they do their thing. So it's very funny. I don't know whether you are getting what I'm saying. So it happens sometimes, but for the non-ed ones, the acceptance is hundred percent. For me, I think I think I, I totally agree with you. But then, don't, don't you also think that as I asked earlier on, because um, um, just just um, for some time now, we we've, we've seen a lot of things go on in the news, and most of the times these things are pointed at Nigerians. For example, in Takrade, we heard about the Takrade missing girls and yeah, all of that. Yeah, the But then my issue is that, yes, even if they are Nigerians, it doesn't mean all Nigerians uh-huh. are like that. I don't know if you get the point I'm Yeah, making. sure. Just sure. like we, we don't want people to say the whole of the North is violent. Violent people. Yeah. So that is exactly how this is. Yeah. Because until you have an experience with, with somebody, people, yeah. you won't be able to know who they are. A, a whole a whole community can be bad people but then they will be they can be one single very good person so should that pe- should that person to be considered it as a bad, bad person? person so for me i think it's it's just we just have to be measured with how we you know how i mean are. we stereotype people and all of that okay can have you have you been have you gotten any challenges like probably um, going to the market and you know trying to buy something and you know you're not able to communicate with oh okay um mm. mostly mm-hmm. wow i'm one lazy ass on my being don't go to the market <laughs> 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 i i mm. i mostly mm. avoid the markets okay because it's usually very crowded mm. and i have a lot of allergies mm. so i would okay. rather prefer mm. to go to melcom or quality fest where I can speak English. Mm, okay. So if I wanted to go to the local market, I'll go with somebody. Mm. Yes, but if I'm forced to go alone, I mostly just use gestures mm. and just can you please interpret for me? Mm. Yeah. So it's it's difficult. So sometimes I have to avoid the main markets because mm. of that. Where, where, where do you work? Oh, where do I work? Mm, mm. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. I think I have a whole lot of jobs. So Just, I don't even know. <laughs> then let's I, yes. I can't, I can't okay. even know. Mostly. You okay. wanted to say something. Okay. Mm. You know, when it comes to language barrier, mm. I think North mm. or Tamale Ye is better. Okay. Mm. Because I said I've been in, I've stayed in Kumasi before. Mm. I Not only in Kumasi, I've ever been in a place in Ashanti region called Agogo. Agogo, yeah. Akutuasi. Okay. With them, as in that, that, okay. that, that, that mm. Are you getting it? Mm. It was so difficult to communicate. Communication was a problem difficult. for me then. Mm. Mm. You get it. But coming to the north, even if people have not been to school, you can still communicate. They yes. can still manage. Mm-hmm. As compared to other places mm. I've been to. Okay. You get it. Mm. You know, one thing I realized is it is possible for you to be in north without understanding Dagbani. That is mm. how come mm. I've not been able to speak. To speak. Oh, okay. But uh, it is not possible for I'll you. Just, I will come there. I'll come yeah. there. You. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you get my point. <laughs> okay. We are talking about yeah. communication yeah. and yes. Yes. languages yeah, I, get, here. I get it. So I, get it. I think it is easier here because mm. even if people have not been to school, mm. with the little knowledge mm. or the way their children are, the way they have been speaking the language in their mm. ears, they can still pick what you wanted. It be, it's all about mm. buying and selling. Mm-hmm. You get it. Yeah. Mm. So even if you don't speak mm. the language, you can still manage. Mm. Oh, yes. Yeah. And I, I see a lot of the market women, even if they don't understand, they yes. attempt to speak English. Yes. Oh, my God. They, they can manage. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. They can manage. You, you, yeah. Which year did you finish school? That was 2015. Yeah. So you finished school 2015. Why didn't you go back to Kumasi, Accra, or Ni- even Nigeria? Why oh, did it, why just why did you decide uh, to stay? He, he, okay, I went back to Nigeria 2015. Okay. And that was 
oh. after school. After, after school. school. Mm. And I came back to Ghana 2017 for my national service. service okay. Because I did my service here. Mm. And immediately after service, that's when we started NAPCO. I oh, think yes. NAPCO is 2018. So mm. Yes. 2020. Mm. 2020. 2021. Yeah, it's 2021. Mm. Yes. And after the 2021, there is an extension. But okay, you asked where I work. Yeah. You asked the question mm. where I work. Mm. I think I've worked with different organizations, mm. NIA, to be precise, National Identification Authority. <laughs> I work with Star Life Insurance. Okay. I was working at the National Sports Authority, Authority okay. because that's where I did my NAPCO mm. okay, distance. Training. I worked work. with WAHEC mm. before. So I've worked with different organizations. Places, yeah. Okay. So I asked that question. I wanted to find out like the, how the work environment was, was like. Yeah. Oh, for so the work as environment... In Nigeria, yeah. As in, like, like, like I said earlier, for the non-net people, mm. they don't really care about where you are where coming, coming from. from yeah. mm. What they are most like interested, interested in is mm. what you have to offer, mm. and that's the that's basically that's that's how it is. Mm. It is not where you are coming from, but what you have to offer, mm. and that is it. I also asked why you didn't go back to school because there are, there are a lot of factors that will push somebody to stay in a place that a lot of people see as weird, mm. right? What what was that factor for you? What 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 made you just decide that no? Because Napco, you could have done Napco anywhere, right? Yes, yes, yes. So what was that that thing that you know uh, made you just want to stay back? Like I said earlier, okay, we always consider like mm. living in the north to be like it is something that is affordable mm -hmm. as compared to going to other places like Kumasi, Accra, mm. or other towns. Mm. Basically, the north. When it comes to development, the north is developing faster than any other places. Mm. Are you getting what I'm saying? And despite that, things are still affordable here yeah. mm. as compared to other places. Uh, when you talk about rent, rent, uh, feeding, living, living, living standard, mm. standard of living, mm. yeah. is, is lower. It's lower here. Yeah. So that's one of the factors that you that, consider that makes me to like. Okay. Mm. Mm. Can you can you, you you work at Nuku Studios? Yes, but then mm. just like him, mm. oh my God, I've done a lot of jobs. <laughs> <laughs> God, there was one time I remember at some time in my life I was in so many sectors mm -hmm. because I think it's the Nigerian thing where we can practically just do yeah. anything. Yeah. I went to school to do community development. I ended up in a hospital as a pharmacist. I ended up again <laughs> as an assistant administrator. I ended up again as an hospital. administrator. Different different hospitals because Eesh. that's how I am. I'm the type that yeah, yeah. I don't. I think I've ever written an application letter. People just come and do this. You can work for me. Mm. That's how it has. It has been that easy for me because you see me working. Like you actually see me mm. working. Everybody I have worked with can testify to the fact that I am hard working. Mm. For that one, I would even do the one that you never asked me to do. Mm. I will be there. That is just naturally how I am. And for the Yoruba tribe, we are hard working. So when it comes to business, when it comes to entrepreneurship, mm. when it comes to even office work, there is that consistency, 100%, unless probably I can't do it. I think, mm. Michael, you can testify on that. Yeah, sure. Yes, for you that see, one. When it comes to work, I always say this, you know, looking at the benefits, the weakness, and the strength mm. of countries, you get it. Nigerians, I think we are, we are more hardworking than Ghanaians. Yeah. Mm. And this is a topic people doesn't always want oh. to listen to oh, here. No, Are you getting my point? Mm. Yeah. We always term Nigeria to be a very bad country. Mm. But being half Nigeria, half Ghanaian. Oh, you actually have Nigerian. Yeah, my yes. mom is a he's, Ghanaian. He's half, oh, okay. half like me. Oh, okay. Yeah, you get it. Are you, you also half? Yeah, yeah the mom also is also half. a Ghanaian. Okay. My, no, my father is a Ghanaian. Dad okay. is a Ghanaian. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So, yeah. you see, okay. being half Nigeria and half okay. Ghanaian that I am, mm. I've been in the two countries for more than decades. Mm. You get it. There is this thing I want to say today, like, mm. Ghanaians and Nigerians, they are two different people. Mm. Are you getting what I'm saying? Mm. With different problems. Yes. Uh, no, I'll tell you. Mm. <laughs> what you see to be your problem is probably somebody else's strength. Yeah. Nigerians have bad governments mm. with good citizens. Nigerians yes. are very good uh, you think, people. You think Ghanaian government is good? No, no. Yeah, <laughs> that's what, no, that's what I want to say. Mm. Nigerians have good. Mm. Uh, Nigerians have good citizens 
with bad governance. Mm. But Ghana have good government with bad citizens. <laughs> no, that is true. No, <laughs> no, how? 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 No, no, I, I, I have my points. Okay. Mm. I'll just give you some okay. two or three different reference. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When I was doing my national service, I did my national service here once. Are you getting it? Mm. But I know of people that have done national service two, three, four, five times. <laughs> It is not possible in Nigeria. Do everybody always say Nigeria is corrupt? Mm. But there are some certain things you cannot try them in Nigeria. Even if your father is the president, you get it. Mm. You mm. cannot save the country. No, but but, but who, who is supposed to make sure that doesn't happen? The government. But it is people that are there. That's what I'm saying. And so, that is what I'm telling you. When, when, so when when you when you when you when you <laughs> split dif- differentiate the government from the people, mm. and then you say the government. It, we have a good government mm. and bad people. That's where that's where my challenge is. Uh, uh, because uh, if 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 you say the same government is the the people are the, the same people in the government. Okay, then I tend to miss your point. Okay, then let 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 me make it clearer. Make it clear. Then okay. I think let me just put it this way: like mm. Ghana have a very weak system. Simple, uh-huh. simple. Is that, that English? Is well, and you see, <laughs> they've they've made this analogy that mm-hmm. when you go to the US. Uh, when when you go to the US, systems are working. Yes. When you come to Ghana, systems are not there, working. There, there is no system. So the, 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 <laughs> the, 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 somebody from Ghana will go to US and follow the system. Sure. And make sure he abides by the laws. By the rules. The same person will come back to Ghana and, start and misbehave. And misbehave. Mm-hmm. So where is the problem? Because the system. it is because the system is exactly. weak. And that is what I wanted to say. You see Nigerians to yes. be bad people. Mm. But the system there is working. Oh yeah, funny enough. It is. I don't know whether you are getting my point. Yeah. I, that's what I'm saying. I have mm. references. I mm. can easily tell you this yeah. because it is what I know. Mm. It mm. is not possible for you, no matter who you are, mm. you cannot do national service in Nigeria twice. Yeah, so it's the system. But the people system, yeah. are doing it three, mm. four times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here in this country, I have people that are teachers that are earning salaries every month and they don't go to work for months. Two, mm-hmm. three, four. It is not possible in Nigeria. Irrespective of who you are, mm. ah. <laughs> the only thing that can happen is okay, if you have an influential person, probably the person can give you the money, can dash you the money. But it's not as if you will not be working and you will be getting paid. Mm. It's not possible. Mm-hmm. But yet, this is a country that sees Nigerians as the most corrupt country in the world. Whereas they have they are practicing the corruption more than the Nigerians. Well, well it, 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 it might be true. Yeah. But then probably the corruption is in different forms. Okay. Right? Okay, yes. It, yes. It, it, it could be that there is corruption on a different level. Yes. Yes. Or practiced by different levels of people. That is what I'm saying. Yes. That, yes. that is yes. what I mean by uh-huh. the government. Yes. I just said Nigeria have the worst government in the world. Worst. In the world. Like, let's be frank. The worst Mm-mm. government in the world, but the best citizen so far. Yeah. You get it. Because when it comes to, like, rules and regulation and implementations, Nigeria are very, very accommodating and adaptive. Today, if Nigeria government should set a law like, okay, from tomorrow, people should be going to bed 6 p.m. <laughs> they don't burn you away. From tomorrow, everybody is going, <laughs> going to, to bed, bed 6 at 6 p.m. PM. Mm. But Ghana, it is not possible. <laughs> no, no, me, I'm telling you, mm. the citizen will never abide by that. Mm. It is oh, yeah. they will challenge the authority. They will challenge. <laughs> you, you get my point. Mm. Which yeah. is very like that's why I said Ghanaians. But don't, don't you think that is democracy? Uh, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> because that's what we practice. Yes. Okay. 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 Well, yes. Okay. Yes. And yeah. then I think uh, let me quickly add to what he's mm. he's talking about. <laughs> I think the the thing about following the rules and regulation, you you said technically mm. that is democracy. But then we have a number where a lot of we have a lot of people, and it means you need lots lots more to control. Mm. So there's this thing where I expect you to use common sense. Mm-hmm. Since when I've come to Ghana, let's be frank. Mm. There are times I keep wondering if there's common sense at all. Okay. Is it down to the way they drive or the way they ride or the way they do their no, but things? You can't generalize it. I'm not generalizing mm. though. This is based on my observation. Mm. Sometimes you just be like, no, mm. like there's, there's a very, very clear, like mm. the difference. I would say that I, I can't, I, I wouldn't um, compare it the way he did because for his comparison of Nigeria, he was right. They have a very, very bad government, but very, very good citizens. But for Ghanaians, it's more of like semi bad citizens, terrible governments. <laughs> Terrible government, <coughs> not just bad, though. Terrible, 
terrible mm. because it's always one fight between NDC and MPP, and nobody wants to come to a consensus. You will be kicking out the people that are supposed to do the actual job, but the people say you want Ghanaians to go for a demonstration mm. to fight for their rights. Mm. I, 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 I'll think about it. Me, I'm busy that day. I have to go to work. Mm. Even that work <laughs> self, there's even a probability he will not even go. Mm. He will use that same demonstration as an excuse not to go. But for the actual demonstration, he will show up. Oh. I, I just realized that when it comes to that thing, when it comes to like standing for your rights or just being, the system will not work for you. Mm. So everybody will find a way to go around the system. So it's 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 like no, mm. <laughs> yeah. There's a very very well. I've not been to Nigeria, difference. so I, 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 I have yes, not. Yes, to come yes. To Nigeria. I mean, I was speaking to one um, mm. photographer the last time when he came to the studio. I, he was talking about how some German experts who went to Lagos, mm. they they specifically warned them, don't go outside after six p.m. You have to have somebody going around with you from six p.m. to six a.m. the next morning so that you are protected. And he just made up his mind that he was not going to go to Nigeria. So why 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 sh why why was he told not to go out? So after the the German uh, they will kidnap him. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's not, <laughs> no, this one it's not it's not joko. They've mm. just told them point blank that this is what is going to happen to you. Mm. So just respect yourself. It is the Ghana Ghana year that ah is the audacity for me. They walk off and down freely, no problem. Who's oh, coming to for kidnap that you? There, that, you that, don't that, have that. any issue. No, that's over true, there. That's true. Over there. Ah, Ghanaian, we are peace loving. Oh, very, very peaceful. <laughs> I, I told you every so, so, time. So why are you saying Ghanaian? The people are not. The people are odd. Semi bad. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> because those are the same people you would expect to mm. actually do something about it. Mm. Everybody is waiting for one other person to do it. Okay. Nobody wants to do the hard work, mm. so, so they wait so for somebody so to come the, and do it. For the work part, you think Ghanaians are oh lazy? Very oh my lazy. god, lazy! Yeah, very, very oh lazy. god! No, that's it's the truth. that's the way. To yeah, yeah. Ghanians that's are that's it. Mm. So when we see, so it's it's very shocking. Since when we started this whole podcasting mm. and you began, everybody keeps making to the reference that he's doing it in Tamale. Mm. Wait, he's a not now. He did all this in the mm. north. Your own people. Mm. Not even my own people, your own people are the ones making these comments. And I'm like, wait, are you thinking that somebody cannot succeed to this level or you can't do something like this in Tamale? Mm. Because they're wondering how come you knew the knowledge of lights and camera <laughs> and how to set. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, what, what, are, what, mm. what are you doing? <laughs> if somebody wants to make themselves good, they're mm. putting the work. But mm. it's rather unfortunate. You see some of the things that come mm. out of the notes. Mm. I'm sorry, it's still very, very below par. Mm. So, that, like, when you want to compare, you see a Northern music video, you know that. Mm. <laughs> okay, there's still a lot of work to do. Mm. But then, it's good because the type of people coming out from the North right now, like, everybody is just passing the bar. They, they, are, they, are, they are going mm. beyond the edge. So, now, mm. we don't even get anybody from a character. Mm -mm. Mm. It's a North now. It's always a North now you want to mention. Somebody is revolutionizing something. Somebody is doing something that is creative mm. and, it, and it is exciting. You're looking at the North now. Mm. So I think that's the one thing I want to commend you mm. for doing. Because, yeah, I mean, yeah. I remember last time I was speaking to you and my boss, and my boss was like, mm. this is happening right here in Tamale. Look at what Ibrahim Mahama is doing. Amazing. Look at what the, or every other person, even down to what, even mm. what, there's this um, um, MP, the Damango MP. Mm. I was there and I saw the place I saw a couple of years ago to when he became, the place has changed. It's about development and it's actually mm. not now. This person I went back home and actually did things. I'm not trying to praise anybody or have any political whatever, but then I am seeing the work and I am happy mm. because it feels like, yes, somebody is actually doing something. Mm. But it's rather unfortunate. It's not balanced. I'm what, done. What, what, it's not what, balanced. What, 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 do you, what do you love about the North? What's, what's that one thing you love oh. so much about the North? Mm, one thing I so much mm. cherished about is the culture, mm. like the the Damba festival. Mm. Okay. The what was the name of the other one? The, the fire, fire festival. festival. Boom. Oh yeah, mm. the, the 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 culture is 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 really here. Mm. It's really working here. Mm. That's why I have a smoke as well. Right? <laughs> <laughs> why did you do? Why did you do? <laughs> 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 yeah, I have a smoke. Next time, yeah, next time. Yeah, yeah, next time. Yeah, I have yeah. a smoke. Kenny, what, what, what do you love? For me, you? what I love about the, the mm. Northern culture mm. is their togetherness mm. and the fact that they would take care of you. Mm. They always take care of you. Mm. There's that, I, they have that open heart. But the fact that, because you, it's that thing where I don't want somebody to talk about me or you feel people are going to judge you. So the, 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 that one overrides your goodness, unfortunately. So I've met a lot of Northern people who are good, very good friends of mine. But then you see that fear to push the boundary. 
that fear to just stand on your own and have your own opinion. You are so scared of what your people will think. You are so scared of what religion will say. You are scared about what everybody will say. So you are just, but you are a genuinely good person. So sometimes I, I just, I just, I, I, I love the fact that they would, they would welcome you. They would take care of you. They would, they would accept you. But you know the bad part is still there. But yeah, that's what I love about it. Every, every, every place has a bad. Part. Yes, sure, sure, Every sure. place, of course, yeah, every place has yeah. a bad part. So, yes. Yeah. Um, w w w you said you you're mar married to a Ghanaian. Yeah. Is the is is, is there a nod now? Or a no, he's a Voltairean. Voltairean, yeah. yeah. Voltairians are our brothers and yeah, sisters. Yeah, but she yeah. even based here in the north. Oh, oh, so here. you met her here. Yeah, yeah I met her. Wow, here. wow. Yeah. I, my question was. To whether you would you would like to settle down in the north? Oh, I'm already settled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already settled. <laughs> oh, he's wow. been here for yeah, so yeah, long. Yeah, oh, he has wow. practically yeah, yeah. assimilated. It's a part of. It's a part. Yeah, yeah, of, yeah, we, yeah. we we we. How, how what's the word? We we uh, what's the name? Oh, we baptize him as a lord. Kenny, <laughs> 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 uh, how yeah. about you? Would you would you want um, to settle down? Um, for me, with a nod now. With if, a nod now. If the person. I mean, matches your... your yeah, yeah, tics, yeah. You mean if he has common your, sense? Because common sense is very important. <laughs> your, if yes. that is part of um, your common boxes. Sense. Yes, definitely. Mm. Okay, so. I have... I, ha I, I mean, mm. I've had the very view that me and not a man don't click. Mm, okay. You know my character. You know how I am. So the, I am per, very, very your, dominatory. Your personal, but yeah. then... Yeah, that's, that's personal. Mm. But then I have seen not a men who mm. have matched up to my expectations. Mm. Yes, they have. Okay. They genuinely have. Mm. But then it's still... I would... Mm. Yes, because okay. I made up my mind mm. that I was going to stay in Tamale for at least five years. Okay. Because I know how my spirit can be. I can be a wandering spirit. Mm. <laughs> so for now, yes, because I want to build that brand mm. and invest as much as I can in the North, because I now, the con there's consideration that people are now getting the work done. Mm. So that stereotype is beginning to die. Because with what you're doing, with what everybody is doing, mm. there's that hope that something is actually going to get done. Mm. I want to be part of that. Mm. Yes, I want to be part mm. of that. Amazing. So if it means sacrificing mm. my moving up and down, probably looking for greener pastures, because mm. I've always said it, I hated that. This, I don't like the South. It's too mm. crowded, mm. too noisy, mm. too overpopulated. I don't need that kind of stress. When I came here, I started living the quote-unquote soft life. Mm. Ah, <laughs> please. I only go to a cry if I want to stress myself. Okay. That's just it. <laughs> but when it comes to here, it's mm. slow, it's steady. I set mm. a meeting for five. I'm actually there by five. By five yeah. I want yeah. to get something done and I get it done. Yeah, yeah. It's just that there's, there's still, of course, there's still mm. a lot of things to work on, mm. like the work Ab ethic. Absolutely, absolutely. A lot of things. But so mm. far, we, we are enjoying what the mm. North is bringing to mm. us. I mean, there's so much we've not even uncovered or even discovered about the North. You see this issue of the beyond the, the year of return mm -hmm. where everybody's just focusing on Accra. Accra yeah. We're trying to bring as much um, attention back mm. to the North. So don't mm. just come to Accra and stop there. Don't just go to Cape Coast and stop there. Travel and come here and experience the right. culture, experience mm. the food, the, the people, the, the life. Mm. Yes. And I feel like we're not tapping into our tourism aspects properly mm. yet. Mm. But then we're trying, based on that this is not your doing, mm. what Ibrahim Mama is doing, what Nuku Studio is doing as mm. well. We are trying as much as possible to let people focus on come here. There's so much you don't know about history. Mm. I mean, there was one time um, a couple of Germans came from outside and they brought pictures of the Dagom Gomban items. They had taken that was like mm. 18 something when they Century. came and these things were given to them as gifts and they were in their museum kept in the exact position they were taken and they are coming back to bring it back mm. but they were concerned mm. the way they preserved it and kept it and it was able to last for more than 50 years mm. would the same people continue to do that mm. so there's the issue of preservation of culture and cultural artifacts. Mm. We've seen where people want to use religion to say, oh, let's burn their gods. Let's burn this one. And this one is, uh, is juju. It's what, what, what. But this mm. is part of our culture. Mm. It's part of what we live in. It's intricate in us. It's part of us. So now, what the, the quote unquote, the Western world is doing mm. is making us realize the value of what we have here. Mm. So we're not trying to place as much emphasis on the fact that we have these things. They belong to us. We need to keep them. Just because you're not worshipping it anymore doesn't mean it doesn't have its value. It mm. does. And mm. it's rather unfortunate it has to be somebody else who would come from somewhere to tell you that do you realize what you're having actually has value? Mm. We need to start recognizing our own value in our own things. What, what, what's, what's, what's your best uh, nodding food? Oh, my, I, my most favorite food mm. is it was Kose. 
Cause, no, but okay. Kote is also in Nigeria too, so yeah. that okay. one is a no, okay. no, no. The no, same, so let me, yeah, yeah. same thing, oh, same okay. thing. We call it Akara. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. But the houses call it Kote, mm. and it's still the same Kote you come and meet here. It's mm. literally the same thing. I think my best northern food would be Wasawasa. <laughs> yes, I, I, I was okay. skeptical because mm. when I saw it, it looked so weird. It's so weird. I yeah. wasn't, it looked just, I was like, what is, what this? is this? And then one of um, um, Okanta from SCCA made it and added some funny sauce, Cameroon pepper with the local herbs and God, I got hooked since that mm. day. And every time I was like, no, if I get a bunch it's out. You, you, you are in, in the art space. Do you see the North becoming, you know, one of the like most important places for you to have um, an experience when it comes to art? Of course, definitely. Mm. Look at the kind of work we are doing. Mm. Even the kind of drive mm. we are getting to. And now we are, we are also trying to make the emphasis on um, getting them from when they are young. So we need them to understand that art mm. is literally part of life. Mm. And art is not just drawing. It's what you eat, that, that's the way why, you speak, that's why I'm, the way you dress, I'm, your, your, your festivals. I'm very excited with what Ibrahim Mama is doing. I mean, come Especially on. with the children. Yes. Because these are kids who hitherto wouldn't have even had that experience. Of course. But you have no idea what that experience mm -hmm. can make those children. Oh my God. It can literally unlock and a potential I, I think, you didn't I think even know. Before that, before then, we weren't really serious about. No. You know, so I'm really excited what he's doing there. Yes. I so think, for yeah. the art space, now mm. everybody who is traveling, mm. they're coming because of the arts. Mm. They're coming because of the culture. They're coming because of the festivals. They want to experience it. Mm. Because now we are getting their due diligence it gets every photographer that i know of has either one footage or a documentary of something that has happened in tamale mm -hmm. and the more we keep pushing now even when you go on youtube all i get suggested these things about tamale yeah. the algorithm now knows that okay people yeah, are now people are interested in exactly tamale. people are now interested in what is happening in the north so any small thing at all mm. you're pushing it so yes it's going I'm, I'm looking even three years from now people will be shocked at what would happen in tamale wow. Wow. Yes, very very I mean, shocked. Well, what's what's your what's your 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 most favorite food in Tamale? Mm. Most favorite food in Tamale? <laughs> <laughs> mm. That is purely oh, from no, the north. No, no, it, it could even be something that you know purely from, from the north. Mm. You know, I love pandit yam. But, but for that, 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 for that, that is, yeah, I love. Like, I'm with you on that. Uh, anytime, I'm with you. Anytime, any day, any day. Anytime, <laughs> any day. Oh. Wait, what soup? What soup do you like? Oh, the granite soup. Okay. I, I love the okay. granite. How about the palm nut soup? Um, the palm nut, I think I don't really. No, me palm nuts. Palm nuts is my really my favorite. Oh, it's it's cool, yeah. but the granite. For so me, I like I, I like fufu with light soup. Light soup, well, oh, yeah, okay. light soup is also cool. Yes, Depending on the yam, especially when it's well done. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. I love the granite soup. But even for the the there's this um. This um, green green, mm. they normally do with the fufu and they'll put the agushi balls mm. and they'll add, um, I think it's bra, the the local um, leaves. Okay. Mm. I've forgotten their name. Don't want to eat fufu. Oh my mm. God. Wow. It's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> I think there's this this lady who has a show. Is it Duhungunu? Du I don't know mm. if yeah, you've seen her. Yeah, the, the I dogu. mean, some of, some of the food the dogu. She's actually she friend. makes. She's actually friend, oh yeah. my God. I was going to her Instagram page and I was hungry. Mm. Like, I kept wondering, where can I, I, I get... I think I should take you to her one day. Yes, we, we need to go there. Yeah. I was telling my brother that we need to go there. Yeah. Because the way the way she, she makes and everything is locally, locally sourced, sourced yeah. ingredients. All of them mm. found here. Mm. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, why why haven't I eaten something like this? This, this looks healthy. We need to, this we this need is to. very healthy and very, very mm. nice. Mm. Yes. Wow. So. Wow. It, it was such an amazing conversation. And mm. what, 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 can you speak the Bali? Mm. Biala, biala. Biala? <laughs> yeah, biala, biala. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, how about you? Zero. Oh no, I'm not for your thing. I don't. So okay, you see, so you at least I picked. Yeah, I'm not for your thing. Okay, okay. Yes, yeah, so at least I picked. A more, a more. A a a a language. A more. <laughs> okay. So what else can you say in the Bali? Ah, uh, what else I can say in the Bali? Uh, oh, but for the greetings, there everybody knows. The okay. Greetings. So if I say, mm -hmm. if I was to say, come, what would you say? In if you band. want to say come in the band, what would you say? Mm. Uh, you say come now. You say come now. <laughs> okay, so you come have, and you take his come now today. Or oh, so you've passed the basic level. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he has passed the basic level. That's level. So I'm going to advance. <laughs> advance, yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I think it was uh, such an amazing conversation, and I would well, I would have to thank you for your time coming okay. through and sharing your experiences with us. Yeah, but I need to mm. say this, like, okay, yeah, 
the other time you asked me what I do, mm. like other aside Oslin. Mm-hmm. So I'm into exchange of money. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ghana forex. and Nigeria. Yeah. Okay. Forex. Okay. Like mm. people that okay. send money okay. from okay. Ghana to Nigeria. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. The booking of flights. Oh, okay. You okay. So it. you have a, you have an agency. Yeah, I have an agency. Oh, okay. So how, how, do, how do people reach you? Yo, I the number is here. Okay. Like, okay. So just m- mention your number so that zero five nine five eight two five one five three. Again, so that people can. Yeah, zero five nine five eight two five one five three. Where's your Where's your office located? Oh, that's uh, what's the name? Town. It's Town Central. Yeah, and Central. The, the name of the business. That's Miklat Enterprise. Miklat Enterprise. Miklat Enterprise. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have any social media handles? Mm, yes. yes. Okay. I, I, so I, I so that they can. can Okay, on Facebook. So your Facebook handle? Yeah, that's uh, Miklat. It's just, it's just okay. this thing, Miklat Enterprise. S- sell them, spell them. Um, Miklat. Miklat. M-I-C-L-A-T. Mm. Then the Enterprise. Enterprise. Uh, yeah, okay, Miklat. amazing, amazing. Yeah. Then you, you you are a big man. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah, a big I man. Just, dealing with money yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Probably I would have to it? definitely, I mean, link up with you if I have, if I have to go to Nigeria. Yeah, anytime. Oh, yes. Because anytime. I, I, Traveling and tours. You know the 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 the, the the travel thing I'm talking about, I'm oh. really serious about it. Oh, it's cool. Yeah. It's I want cool. to, you know, go around and make videos about northern, document northern parts of Africa that's, and that's see okay. the similarities in culture, food, and other stuff. That's, so that's when okay. I when I get money, I'll link up. Oh, no problem. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, so <laughs> thanks so much for coming through. <laughs> yeah. no it's welcome. been such an amazing conversation. And I think conversations okay. like that would help us become better, you know, sure. no hard feelings, whatever, you know, conversations or whatever uh, experiences you've had i think when people hear this they are going to improve we are going to improve upon ourselves to yes. probably you know become better people thanks yeah. so much thanks so much for coming mm. thank um, you this has been north chat my name prince i'm done thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed it make sure you subscribe and there is a, another video that probably you would like to watch um that is next to uh the the the, the video so you just click on it or go into the description. I'll put the link to that video. You won't want to miss that as well. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, and we out. See you.